Hi guys, um, before I do the actual main Firefox 13 versus Chrome video, I thought I'd just show you the major new feature of Firefox 13, which is that when you open a new tab, uh, your most visited pages actually come up. So for example, I've been on the BBC, Unilad, Google quite a lot. So if you click on, for example, the BBC, you can go straight to the BBC website, which is a kind of cool feature. I know that Opera has had this in the form of speed dial for quite a while now, um, but you know it's a good feature to have, and at least it does have it now. And obviously you can move these around, um, you can unpin them and then choose a new site. Obviously I haven't been on that many on this new browser yet, but if there weren't other sites they would come up on these two blank uh, squares here. So that's the major new feature. Um, other like less major features, but that obviously are still new, are the default home page has quicker access to bookmarks, history and settings for example. And when uh, Firefox is restored, background tabs are not loaded by default for faster setup. Um, smooth scrolling is enabled by default and they are supposedly better web development tools. So they're the major features of Firefox 13. Chrome 19 doesn't really have any major new features like Firefox does unfortunately, but um, I'll go through their pluses and minuses in the following comparison video. Hi guys, and welcome to my newest internet browser comparison video, where I'll be comparing Firefox 13 with Chrome 19. Now if we get started, all tests were repeated three times for accuracy and the average was taken. All browsers are the latest stable versions. No add-ons, extensions or options were enabled. It's the same PC with the same power plan every time. And I have listened to some constructive criticism. And to reduce unintentional bias, all graphs will now start from zero. It may make some differences harder to see, but it makes everything fairer in my opinion. So if we get started with the first test. The first test is the HTML5 test. HTML5 is the web standard that will eventually eclipse Flash. You can see Chrome 19 beats Firefox 13 with 415 points to Firefox's 354. Chrome 18 gets 413 points, two less than its successor, while Firefox 12 gets the same amount of points as Firefox 13. Next, the Sun Spider test is a JavaScript benchmark. The lower the score, the better in this case. Firefox 13 gets 221 milliseconds, while Chrome 19 gets 202 milliseconds. Remember, all these tests were completed multiple times. The next two tests are memory usages on 3 and 5 tabs respectively. Obviously, the lower the score is the better. In both tests, we can see that Firefox beats Chrome quite comprehensively. Next is how well the browsers can cope with particle acceleration, something that will become more common in the future. At 1920 by 1080 resolution, i.e. Full HD, Firefox 13 gets 46 frames per second in the fishbowl test, while Chrome gets 37 frames per second. Next, we have startup time of the two browsers. Chrome opens in almost one tenth of a second, and while Firefox 13 is slower, these differences are not noticeable in the real world. Finally, we have the average page load time of some common websites, YouTube, Google, Amazon, and eBay. Chrome loads on average each page approximately three tenths of a second faster than Firefox. However, results do vary from computer to computer, but it would be quite easy to say that Chrome 19 is the faster browser. In conclusion, Firefox 13 is slower than Chrome 19 in most cases. However, Chrome 19 uses much more memory than Firefox 13. Both have similar compatibility levels, with Chrome having a better HTML5 score and Firefox being better at particle acceleration. Which one to choose? Well, I'll let you decide.